What's up guys, we're here today with the first Wi-Fi battle of the PGBL and as you can see we have our team for the first week. We have our Mega Charizard X, we have our Manaphy, Mew, Gudra, Cobalion, and Weavile. So we're going to go ahead and jump in with this. If you watched yesterday's uh, draft picks video, I went over my first week stuff a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this. Been a little while since I uploaded a Wi-Fi battle, so hopefully I'm not too rusty, and I haven't really done league format too much, so this is going to be interesting as we see the Alolan Nine Tails, Terrakion, Mega Venusaur. Empoleon, Melodic, and Infernape. So I'm kind of sad I put Shadow Ball on a Mew looking at this team, but I guess I can't be too upset. We're going to go ahead, because I want to get rocks up as soon as possible. So I'm just going to go ahead and lock in with Kabalion first, because I want to get rocks up as soon as possible. If my opponent does a lot of switching, that'll help us out a lot. If they lead a lot of nine tails, that's good. I actually am carrying Brick Break on Weavile for the Aurora Veil to break that, if my opponent wants to set that up. I'm also carrying Psychic on two of my mons for that Venusaur, because Mega Venusaur is a pain and a half. So hopefully I don't regret that. The only thing I'm thinking I might regret is not having an energy ball on my on my Manaphy for that uh, Melodic, but hopefully it'll be good. Get my pen ready so I can write down these moves once I see them. PK Sparks. So we see the Inferno. That's actually really bad for us. <laughs> really bad. But I'm actually going to go out to Mew here. And honestly... Nothing on my opponent's team really wants to take the Z-move. I don't know if I want to fire off the Z-move so quick, though. I'm definitely not staying in. I'm actually running weakness policy on this Kabalion, so... But... I'm not running any defense investment, so... That could turn out really bad for me. But I think Mew's the safest. Especially if my opponent does decide to... Go for a fire or a fighting type move. Fire type move, I don't know how well I'll take. But I am running some HP investment. So my opponent decides their move. And I know I forgot to mention this in the beginning of the video, kind of late already, but I'll leave the links in description to their channels and everything else, their Twitter, so go check them out if you like. Said I'm not used to the draft stuff, so this is definitely going to be interesting. That and I haven't recorded for a while because life's been pretty busy. Okay, so I switch out. Let's see if my opponent stays in. Goes for close combat. That is perfect. I think now is a perfect... I'm just going to set up my... Go for my Z-move. Genesis Supernova. So... Whatever my opponent wants to do. I could have predicted a switch and went for U-turn, but... I want to get that up real quick, because if I can start punching holes in my opponent's team with the Mew, 
That'd be really good. The thing I really want my opponents to go out into is the Terrakion. That would be the best. Withdraws, okay, so what's taking this Z move? Mumble. The Empoleon, so we're gonna see how well this thing takes it. <laughs> I got no chill going <laughs> for my Z move on the uh, second turn. That was a crit. Okay. I'm actually going to switch out to Manaphy here. Because now is the opportunity, if any, to set up a tail glow. Goes for Stealth Rock, so Charizard is going to be hurting. <laughs> I was going to go out to Charizard, but I didn't want to risk a Scald. That just would have been bad. So I'm actually going to go for a tail glow here. And with the Psychic Terrain up, I really, 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 really hope my opponent goes out to Mega Venusaur since I'm carrying the Psychic. That would be best. If I could get rid of that thing, I would be happy. That's a pain that my Charizard's pretty much pretty much going to be hurting. What we've seen Stealth Rocks Withdraws. Goes that to a Zine. The Melodic, okay. I'm just gonna go for the Psychic. See how much this does. A lot. Enough for a two hit KO. <laughs> So we see Stealth Rocks, Close Combat, Toxic, got to write these down. So I'm just going to go for another Psychic. Which would be nice to get rid of this thing too because it's a really bulky Mon. Tell this is gonna be a long battle. Okay, so my opponent's just gonna let melodic drop. Yep. So toxic's not hurting me too much. Psychic disappears. That sucks. But, I want to see my opponent go out to Venusaur, then I can go for I can go for Gudra. Goes out to Amanda. Okay, so we see Hail, Aurora Veils, 
more than likely coming. I'm just going to go for a surf. But like I said, if my opponent goes for Aurora Veil, vale, I do have Brick Break. I'll sacrifice Weavile for that if I have to. I don't think I outspeed this Mon either. Especially since I'm modest over Timid. They could also be running Freeze Dry, which would be really bad for us, but... I'm trying to get it to a point where I can get Mega Venusaur versus Gudra because that would be best scenario. That's my plan. <laughs> Goes for Aurora Veil, vale. okay. That just one hit KOs, <laughs> okay. So. Alolan Ninetales out. Something's gonna have to come in. We're getting rid of a lot of threats and that makes me happy. Bronx. Okay. I'm gonna go for Psychic. Call me crazy. But I'm hoping we can take this thing out. Probably won't. Especially because of Aurora Veil. Vale. Toxic starting to do a number on me. Okay, so let's go back. Aurora Vale has three turns left. I'm actually gonna go out to Gudra right here. I wonder if my opponent realizes that Gudra has Sap Sipper. If not, that helps me out tremendously. I got Thunderbolt for Empoleon. <laughs> but I can't have Manaphy stay in here with Hail, Toxic. We're doing pretty good so far. Two of the Mons down, we're up by two, but knock on wood. I'm not going to get my hopes up. If it wasn't for the Aurora Veil, I would stay in and risk the Giga Drain, but it's not worth. But luckily, Aurora Veil is gone for the rest of the match. <laughs> so, but we did see that Mega Venusaur had Protect. So out goes Gogurt the Gudra. Take a little bit of stealth rock damage. This for Giga Drain. Sap Sipper, if only I was a physical attacker. And we see that I outspeed actually. I'm actually going to go for Dragon Pulse because of Stab. Not going to do a whole lot, but what can you do? And I am actually running a little bit of defense investment, but if I get whittled down too low, I definitely don't want to risk the... Infernape's close combat. 
But I think as long as I keep Mew in the back, we should be good. Goes for protect, okay. Oh, is that actually a speed tie? I'm gonna go for middle ground play. Go for flamethrower. I wanna go for thunderbolt, but thunderbolt won't do a lot to this thing. And I want them to see dragon pulse and go out to Empoleon. And then I could potentially take that thing out. Potentially. So I go for flamethrower. The best thing would be to get a burn. No burn. Goes for sludge bomb. Hail stops. And I'm pretty sure this is... Oh, they had the icy rock, or the light clay for screen, so we have three more turns <laughs> of Aurora Veil. Well, two after this. This for Sludge Bomb, okay. Get the poison. <laughs> So that's no fun. I can keep my Gujar in the back for Death Fodder. I'm going to go out to Kabalion. Really hoping we see the Sludge Bomb. Goes for Protect. Even better. I'm getting up Stealth Rocks right now. I'm hoping my opponent packs HP Fire. That would be awesome. Now I could get my Weakness Policy up. But now's the best time for rocks because we need to whittle this thing down. Quick. I don't know what my opponent's going to want to go for. But we did see... Sludge Bomb, Giga, we don't know what the fourth move on this Mega Venusaur is, I'm hoping HP Fire, this is the last turn of Aurora Veil, vale. they were pretty free. <laughs> Hmm. Withdraws, okay. Goes out to the Infernape. And now because I think I have Gudra in the back for this, I'm actually gonna go out to Gudra. And just let it be death fodder. <laughs> and keep this thing in the back. For Terrakion. So out comes Gogurt. We're gonna see a Flare Blitz. Fire Punch. Okay. does take us out. We haven't seen an item on this thing yet either. Alright, I'm gonna go out to Charizard. We're going to Mega Evolve 
and then earthquake. Kind of wish I was jolly over adamant now, but what can you do? And I got Manaphy in the back for Tracheon too. Because it won't appreciate a surf. <sighs> really hope my opponent over predicts and switch switches. Be really nice. Withdraws, what are you gonna go out to? Mumble? And Polyon. I am okay with this. Cause now Empoleon is going down. And I think Mew and Manaphy can clean up with Cobalion in the back. Down goes Mumble. Crit, crit didn't matter. A max attack. So Empoleon is down. My opponent has three mons, and if my opponent has Focus Ash on Infernape, that's gonna get broken now, which is really, really nice. If we see Mega Venusaur here, I'm actually going to PK Sparks, okay. The nice thing is we don't see Flare Blitz. I'm just gonna go Dragon Claw. Just for close combat. We don't live that. The way my HP just dropped, I thought we were gonna live that. That sucks. I'm actually gonna go out to me here. Now my opponent's kind of in a tough position. Because all of my opponent's mons are weak to psychic. We have Mew, Manaphy, Kabalion, and Weavile, so... I'm pretty sure as long as my opponent's not scarfed on Terrakion, we can take it out. Whew, it's nerve-wracking because one wrong play and I could lose this game. So we've seen fire punch on withdraws, okay. I'm okay with that. Bronx. Gonna let this thing drop. Down goes Megavina. So we have Terrakion and Infernape. Man, had Charizard 
lived that close combat and got that Dragon Claw off. That would have been amazing. So we see PK Sparks again. Spark. My bad. I'm just gonna go for Psychic. This for U turn. That's fine. My opponent's just taking more rock damage. Keaton, okay. Well, the question is how much this psychic will do. A lot. Now the question is, are you scarfed? <laughs> If not, I take you out. Nope, you are not scarfed. I think we're in a pretty good position now. <laughs> this fire punch will not take out Kabalion. But I'm just going to stay in, go for Psychic. Close combat might got take out Cobalion. It really comes down to if my opponent has Thunder Punch as well. Ah. <laughs> uh. Goes for Fire Punch. Can we take that? Nope. Alright. We need to live a close combat or a Fire Punch. Because I'm going to go for close combat myself. Goes for Fire Punch. We live that. Weakness policy. <sighs> and down goes Infernape. I was about to say, if Infernape lived that, I don't know what kind of investment you were running. But good game to my opponent. That is a week one victory, so we're ahead of the game so far with a little trio. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you guys support the Cincinnati Charizards, please leave a like, subscribe, share. Do all that fun stuff. Check out my opponent down below, the New York Grumpigs. And until next time, I'll see you guys next week.